Uh, I think I slipped. I think I hit it on the ground. Um, court was a little, a little slick out there tonight, but you know, um, I think I'll be all right. Yeah, I'm gonna get that looked at when we get back to Boston. Um, but it's been bothering me for a little bit now. Um, different, um, uh, different strategy than usual. Um, but whatever the team needs, you know, I, I feel like, uh, you know, that's something that my team relies on me to do now. Um, so I, I take it with, with the honor and the responsibility. Like, you know, you know, that was my matchup, and I wanted to make sure that we made it tough on them. And you know, I think we did. Um, one. The, the, the type of player um, Zion is extremely strong, explosive, quick, you know, um, and crafty around the basket. You know, you got to be strong enough to, to take the initial bump, but you also got to be quick enough to stay in front of him, um, which makes him a, a tough matchup. Um, so you don't see a lot of guys like Zion in the world. Um, it's a balance, you know, definitely trying to um, balance it out as best I can, listen to my body, um, but also, you know, getting the, the right amount of sleep, um, hydrating, working with the coaching staff, everything, just trying to prepare myself as best as can, but also like, you know, mentally, you know, also meet that challenge and accept it. And, uh, and uh, I think it's been good so far. You know, probably got like 10 days left or so, finish out strong. Um, but continue to just challenge yourself in different ways, but also, you know, increase your your spirituality and your faith. It was a play where uh, you stood up to Zion, he bodied you, I think it hit you on the chest, and then you got the foul, and then you guys kind of shared a conversation in the free throw line because I think you were just sort of like, what do you want me to do here? Like, you literally went through me. What was that conversation like? And what's it like when, the, when such a big guy is literally just burying you in the chest? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it meets different challenges. And, and in that moment, I just was like letting him know, everybody else in the gym know I'm not going nowhere. You know, I'm strong enough to, to stand my ground. But it's uh, I talk about it all the time, but just having defensive versatility, being able to bang with a big and next possession, chase a shooter off the screen. Then I might be on the point guard and pick him up full court, try to turn him over. Um, just having defensive versatility and transition, you know, making plays, um, getting blocks, getting steals, all of that stuff adds up. And it's not a lot of guys. We don't really, you know, focus on defensive versatility and skill sets. But I think this year I've definitely put it all on display in a lot of different ways. Yeah, earlier in your career, you were guarding four a lot. That's kind of like how you first started getting big minutes early on. And it's been mostly kind of guards and wings for the most part, the bigger assignments you take. So. Like you said, you wanted to guard Jokic more a few weeks ago, back in Denver. Tonight, you're taking on Zion. How much did that early career kind of prepare you for taking on these guys now? I think it's the same. I think uh, I did a little bit of both early on in my career. Like like Brad, I had me locking on shooters and chasing like JJ Redick off screens. But I also would switch and I guard guys like KP. I would switch on to people like Anthony Davis, and that'd be my matchup even early on in my career. I've always had the defensive versatility to do both. I think I just emph emphasized it more than this year and made sure I cleaned up on a little bit of the, you know, um, the mental awareness and making sure that I each night in and night out that I came and, br and brought it. So I think it's no different than kind of what I was doing earlier in my career, just doing it at a higher level. Jalen, just that pregame, I mean, the temperature in the locker room didn't change, but it's clear you wanted this game. Why was it important to get to win? Just to respond, um, you know, teams are, you know, uh, are being a little bit more physical and they think that's the, the, the ticket to, to getting us out of our comfort zone and, you know, we got to be ready to fight. Um, you know, I think a part of it too is like we're adjusting to how the game is being called. The whistle is being a little is a little different. You know, kind of out of nowhere, right? And like I asked the officials about it, and they kind of act like they don't know what you're talking about. But it's clear, like that across the league, that 
Um, they're not calling as much fouls. It's a little bit more physical and stuff like that. So some of the stuff that we were getting early on, we're not going to get now. And that's fine, but it's, adjust it's an adjustment. So we're just adjusting with everybody else. But you look at the analytics, all the numbers is down in terms of like points per game. It seems like teams are scoring less. Um, also, like, you know, people who are significant foul drawlers, Seem like their fouls is you know not as drawn as many fouls, so just adjusting to it. On top of that, we just got to be ready to fight. Is that an adjustment that you can kind of pick up on the fly, like the game? Because you only gave up 35 points in the second half, so kind of knowing it's going to be a more physical game, but you have to kind of adjust yourself defensively for that. Yeah, um, and sometimes it is going to be an in-game adjustment. Like when we, you know, when they call in a certain way, you don't want to be the team that's complaining all the time. You want to kind of adjust with it, so um, you know. But that has a significant effect on how the game is being played. How they, how they call, you know, I know the average fan might not notice it or, or understand it, but, you know, how they call in the game can, you know, change the whole course. So just trying to figure out and get some consistency from the officiating is going to be key going into the playoffs. Thank you, Jalen. Thank you.